Hello everyone and welcome to this Freerai tutorial. In this tutorial we will learn about grouping the tests. So let's begin. So far what we are doing is that we are just creating a file and inside the file we are just creating a test. And now for example there are multiple tests. So you can create a multiple test inside the same file. Okay, So if, if I go here and copy this one. So I can paste it here. Now these are two independent tests here. Okay, And now what I need to do is that I need to group those test cases. So for this particular tutorial, what I have done is that I have already created one file. So let me open this file. So grouping.spec.js and here again, I have two test cases here. So again, so when we're talking about grouping, why we need a grouping here? For example, you need to test, you need to test a login functionality. So think about the different test cases. You would be testing with the valid credentials. You would be testing with the invalid credentials. You would be testing without providing the unique you know, credentials. The so different test cases which are actually belongs to the login functionality, right? And here you see that I have written one test which with uh, with the login credentials. I am opening this particular website or a channel. So let me um, copy the URL from here and let me open this in the browser to show you. So basically, what I am doing is that I am going to this particular website. Providing this valid username and password. So in this particular case, the user should get logged in successfully. Okay. And the other is that if I provide invalid, for example, this, so, so this is an invalid user, right? And if I provide, provide the correct username here and press enter, so I will get this particular message invalid credentials here. Okay. So this is uh, what I have done. And these two are independent tests right now. Okay, so this is a test one with the valid credentials and this is with the invalid credentials. Okay, so now let's run this one. So we can run this using the UI as well as from the command line. So I'm opening the UI here and we will see the difference of grouping the test and independent test here. Okay, now if I go here and scroll down here a bit and here grouping the test. Here you see that these two are basically independent tests inside the same file. Okay. And if I go here and click this one, so it will execute these both of the tests here and it will fail or pass whatever the status would be. We will see this status here. Okay. And I will also show you, uh, you know, by executing into the browser itself by the command line so that you can see how this code is working right now. Okay. So this uh, first test is passed basically, all steps are passed basically you can see and here the second one is passing. Okay, so here you see that invalid credentials and let me close this one for a moment and now let me run this uh, from the command line. Uh, so basically, but opening the, uh, the browser itself means that we are using the headed mode here. So simply um, npx playwright test and name of the file which is grouping dot spec dot js okay uh, let me terminate this one here i need to run this in a added mode here so we will see that our first test will provide the correct username and password it will log in into the application in the second case we will see that we are providing the invalid user so we will be getting the message of the invalid credentials over there okay and again these two tests are blocks to the login functionality right now they are working independently and after this i will group them and see the difference okay so in order to group simply go here and go to the display right website here and go to the docs here and search for describe so you see that we have a test dot describe. So test dot describe declares a group of tests, and that's how you can use so test dot describe. And inside the body of this, we have test one, two, and so on. So using this principle, I will be changing my existing code here. So let me copy this complete line of code from here, and let me go back here, and on the top. I will provide this one and remove the tests from here. Okay. And here, what I will do is that I will say validate login functionality. 
functionality okay and inside this i will copy this code from here and remove this code from here and paste this inside this test dot describe okay so i have pasted this one and now let me save this one okay so now let me show you in the ui mode again so let me open the ui mode and here you will see a difference here so grouping test so here you see that this is validated login functionality now inside that i have two tests which belongs to which actually verify the login functionality here and if i run this one either this complete file or the group of tests i can easily run from here and again both tests should pass because i have just put those tests inside the test or describe so test or describe groups the test in the playwright so there are so many cases where you need to group the test cases and meanwhile it's they are executing and you see that the first test is passed here and eventually the second test will also pass here okay and if i go back here so we have test or describe where we can provide the title and the callback so we use this title and then callback here then you can also use the simple callback here okay and also you can describe the configuration of this one here okay and just like any other test method you can also make it dot fix me dot only dot test dot uh, describe dot skip so for example if there are two you know uh, describe means two source or two groups available so you can skip or you can execute only one so for that let me show you here so this is our first test okay so let me copy this complete suit here and paste it here and here if i save this one and if i go back here let me show you so test dot describe dot skip or test dot describe dot only here okay so i'm changing the name because it says duplicate names so i am saying is saying this as a group group two test one and save this one and again i let me copy this one and save change this one group two and this is test two and i will call it as one here okay now now playwright will treat them as a two different source here so for example i want to run only this one so dot only okay and if i save this one now uh simply we go here and let me refresh this one here so now inside this particular file we'll go here okay so you see that we have functionality one and this is group two okay and now uh simply if i close this one and go here and run this file so this second group will execute it only okay so you can either escape use dot only dot fix me so based on this one based on your requirement you can use those but the main purpose of this tutorial is to make you understand that you can group the logical test together okay so if there are multiple test cases around the specific functionality or the module you can group them okay now this execution has been completed and let me open this report from here and let's paste this command here and see so you see that uh, in terms of the report you don't see any difference it will work in the same way but here this is the name of the basically the test actually okay so in, in the report there wouldn't be any difference if you are using the default playwright report but tomorrow it would be easier for you to see which test cases belong to the login functionality which test cases belong to the maybe the sign up functionality maybe add to cart so whatsoever so when you are automating group those according to your requirement according to the functionalities thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial